helping you get home. The Afternoon Drive with Dino on Hits 106. Hi, I'm Dino from The Afternoon Drive, and you know, you're never too old to trick or treat. I remember Halloween's when we would trick or treat the day before, we'd go out the day of Halloween, and even the day after. It's true. We'd get off the bus, head home, change into a costume bought from Woolworths or the toy store, and out into the world of ghouls, goblins, and candy we'd go. In about an hour, I would have filled up my little plastic pumpkin with all kinds of candy. Back then, you had to make several trips home to clean out the bag to make room for more candy because you'd be out all night long. And by the way, the occasional apple or fruit pies, we would trade those for Smarties, chocolate bars, and even popcorn balls. Ah yes, Halloween in Baltimore. I also remember having two or three masks that I would use to get candy from the same house. So, you know, you walk up to the house, trick or treat. Oh, look, it's Spider-Man. Here you go. Trick or treat. Oh, it's a clown. Here's the candy. Trick or treat. Oh, look, Casper the Friendly Ghost. Yeah, I know it's you, Dino. Here's a Reese cup. Have a good time. Uh, This year, I'm the one handing out the candy because my Casper the Ghost costume's too small. Plus, I'm not sure how safe those plastic masks were. The ones that had the little holes cut out for the eyes made you feel like you could cut your retina if you weren't careful. Now, I'm not going to hand out fruit. Okay, I hated that as a kid. Trick-or-treating is about candy, not health food. We have a huge bag of mini candy bars, and those who trick-or-treat at my house will get at least two or three, unless I eat them all by Halloween. So look, this Halloween, enjoy a spooky movie. My favorite is George Romero's Night of the Living Dead. It's a classic. Oh, and always check your candy and be safe, will you? We all want to do this again next year. Happy Halloween.